Hi you guys, I just had a couple of things that I want to show you really quick. It has absolutely nothing to do with food or weight loss or anything else. Just a warning. So if you're not interested in my uh, bathroom cleaning tip, <laughs> go ahead and hit that little X down there or wherever it is and don't watch this. Anyway, um, I was just cleaning the bathroom and I was doing a couple things that I do a little differently than maybe some people do. Um, and so I wanted to show you guys because I thought it was kind of maybe helpful. Uh, so the first thing, I'm going to turn you around and show you my dirty mirror. Sorry about the dirty mirror, but it's dirty. And we're going to clean it. Alright. So here is my dirty mirror. I think you can see. My husband likes to wipe it with a towel. Oh look, my coffee cup. Um, after he's taken a shower so that he doesn't have to wait for the steam to clear. And what I'm going to do is just take this bottle of alcohol that I should have opened before I started filming this, because I'm not all that bright sometimes. Um, and I'm going to pour some on a paper towel. I'll just throw it in the sink. Usually I don't pour quite this much. And I'm just going to clean the mirror with my alcohol. And I got too much alcohol, but I think you get the picture. Now, if you have a problem with dry hands, you want to kind of maybe either wear a glove or something um, because alcohol, of course, is drying and will dry out your hands. So, let me finish this part here. You know, the part with the toothpaste. You guys probably didn't get to see it because it's hard to film this and do it at the same time. But what happens is my shirt gets all yanked up. Um, it works a lot faster than using Windex um, as far as getting like the toothpaste and the spots and stuff off. The lovely towel pieces are still hard to get off but once that dries it won't leave any streaking. Um, I shouldn't have used as much as I did. It may leave a little bit of streaking because I used too much. In fact, I think I'll try to go over that with another paper towel. But usually, when you just kind of dampen your paper towel and go over it really quick, um, it's very fast. It doesn't leave streaks. Sorry, I'm trying to get the paper towel off of the roll. And uh, of course, everything's like way clean because it's alcohol. Love using alcohol to clean. And you can get a bottle of alcohol at the dollar store. See that part right there does not want to come clean for some reason. I just used too much, that's all. Sorry. Yeah, anyway. But down here you can tell that it completely came clean. I don't I don't hope you can see that there's no streaking. I really don't like this. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to turn your back around. Um, so alcohol to clean the mirror, you can use it to clean your sinks, you can use it to clean the toilet, um, whatever. I just think it works really well. I like the toilet and stuff, of course, I'll clean the toilet bowl cleaner and bleach and all that stuff, but then sometimes I'll still just go over it with alcohol to make sure everything's disinfected and nice and sparkly. That's the other thing it does. It makes, like, your sink faucet, if you have, like, a silver faucet or whatever, it makes it nice and sparkly. So I'm going to turn your background and show you one more thing, and then we will be all done. Alright, sorry for all the turning, I couldn't figure out a better way to do this with this iPod thingy thingy here. Alright, so this is just a little like wicker, soft wicker basket thing that I like to keep in the bathroom for if people come and stay the night or the weekend or the year or, or whatever, you know, for guests is what I'm saying. We went to a bed and breakfast one time that they did this um, and I thought it was really neat. So anytime I go to a hotel or I get like trial sizes of anything, I will keep them like this. Sorry about my chipped off fingernails. This is a trial size bottle of Pantene uh, shampoo. And there's the conditioner that goes with it. And keep this stuff in the bathroom for if somebody has forgotten something or if they just plain old didn't bring anything with them. and you know, a friend is just spending the night off the cuff or something like that. So I'll keep like this little bar of soap in here. And if they use stuff, I'll just get some more and put it back in there. So I've got a bar of soap. I've got shampoos and conditioners, a couple of different kinds. I've got this um, 
body lotion from Vaseline that was a trial size. I have a shower cap. Um, some Elizabeth Arden 8 hour hand cream. I've got, uh, this is a hotel <laughs> bottle of body lotion, but I didn't use it, so I figured I would put it in here. This is called a, I think it was called a, um, what's it called? I don't remember, some kind of a kit that this hotel put together. And it's just an emery board, a couple of Q-tips, and some cotton balls. Um, this is a mending kit. It's just a couple of buttons, safety pin, needle, and some thread. I've got some Dove cucumber, I think it is. Yeah, cool moisture conditioner for hair. Um, this is more conditioner. There's some shampoo that matches it. There is a sanitary napkin. Sorry, guys. Um, some Kleenex, some baby powder, um, things like that. And I'm also going to get like a trial size deodorant. Let me turn you around so you're not staring at my weird little basket. Um, I want to get like a trial size deodorant and a small like hairspray, um, toothpaste. Actually, I already have the toothpaste. I forgot to put it in there. So here's my little toothpaste I'm going to put in there. Um, and stuff like that. I just think it's a really nice gesture for if somebody comes over to spend the night to go, oh hey, in the bathroom is a basket of stuff. If you need anything, use it, take it, whatever you need. Because um, I thought it was really cool the couple of times that I've been to some different bed and breakfasts and we found like this really cute little basket full of stuff. Um, and sometimes you have your own stuff and it's just nice to use someone else's. Let's just be honest. All right, well, I hope those things were helpful to some of you. I just kind of wanted to show you that really quickly because, like I said, I thought they were helpful to me, and I thought that this basket thing was really cool, and so I didn't know if any of you would kind of like that sort of a tip. If you like these kind of tips, let me know, and I will do more of them. If not, and you want me to just kind of stick to the weight loss stuff on here, then I can do that and maybe put this stuff on my beauty channel. In fact, I might put this on there as well just in case. So have a good day. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.